Hello, Web3TV friends. I'm Ornella Hernandez, and I'm in Hong Kong at the WOW Summit. It's day one. I'm here at the Lake booth with Jean, the CEO, and Ahad, head of communications. How are you guys today? Very fun. Thank you. How are you? Very well. Thank you very much. Is it your first time at the WOW Summit? Actually, yes. Uh, as an exhibitor and also as visitor. Okay. What about you, Ahad? Indeed the same. I'm. It's the first time for me here at the World Summit and it's been amazing. So I did a bit of a speech earlier on. Did you get a chance to see that? I did not. I'm sorry I missed it, but give me like uh, the top takeaways. The top takeaway was that you missed out. And it was an awesome, awesome uh, turnout. And I think I energized the room in regards to the lake project, which is to decentralize access to water or give access to water through Web3. And in essence, uh, you missed out. <laughs> I did. How about you talk to me a little bit about it now? Give me like uh, the, the mission and the vision behind Lake. Actually, <laughs> okay. Okay. let me tell you the mission, okay? <laughs> I'm going to quote uh, this, uh, I'm going to make this, uh, our mission statement quote, okay? Which is, drop by drop, we will make water as accessible as oxygen because both are vital for humanity. Now, for that to happen, we have decided to utilize the blockchain and Web3 as our vehicle to unlock access. There are five key components to our ecosystem, and it's all driven by our lake token. And the way it works is that normally you can only buy water, right? Well, we want to change that from buying water to be have the ability to sell water, to invest in uh, local source spring sources, to own large amounts of water should you wish, as well as to be able to donate water. But all this has to be done in an eco-friendly, sustainable way. And we want to remove plastic from the equation. This is a community-led project. So we have just literally started the project and we want the community to help us to shape it going forward. So what are the issues right now currently in the world that impede lack of access to clean water and why is blockchain a solution towards fixing that? Well, first, first and foremost, water scarcity is affecting us on a global scale. It's not just in places like Africa or the Middle East, it's far wider than that. In essence, what we want to do is uh, use blockchain as a way to bring about transparency and truth instead of making it opaque. So without tarnishing any brand names here, in essence, the big brands out there, they have their operations that they do, they operate in the way that they do. We want to change the status quo by empowering everyone to become an, a, an active participant, to have a say over the water. Because as consumers of water, we don't have a say, we can only consume. We may be able to buy large sums to maybe to sell on, but that's about it. So we want to change the dynamics in that regard. And John, why is the water crisis so, like in particularly so important to you? It's a particular story I did not hear. Yeah, why is the water crisis important to you personally? Because, um, well, actually, when I was young, my great-grandmother uh, told me, you know, in this village you're coming from, um, there is a lot of water, and uh, you have to remember this all your life. It's one of the best water, one of the most abundant water. Where is this? It's in France, in the French Alps. The best water. It is, it is actually, <laughs> with the Swiss Alps also. <laughs> and uh, so she told me, remember this all, all your life. And a, a few years ago, I went to the village and I talked to the mayor and he confirmed me, yes, here we have a lot of water. And so when I get back to my home, I thought, that's incredible. Some places have too much water and some places don't have enough. We have to redistribute this. We have to share and to change. So I started to think, and how can we do that? And that's when the blockchain came to me and giving us the opportunity to make this uh, project international and to build a community uh, of, uh, of users that can help us to change things uh, by uh, being users, of course, of the token and to finance everything we need to finance to change things. Okay. So how does that look like from the user experience? How can we participate in this lake ecosystem? 
Well, uh, first thing is you, you can come on our platform and buy some water, all the water that we uh, propose. Uh, so we have partnerships with different uh, water springs. We own our, uh, we have our own uh, water spring also. In, Where? In the French Alps, in, in that village <laughs> I'm coming from. Uh, and then the goal is to have more and more uh, water springs coming under our ecosystem. Um, so you will have, wherever you live, you will be able to buy some water coming by your house next to you. Uh, so it's ecological, you know, the water is not coming from too far away. And uh, yeah, so this is one thing you can, you can do. But also um, because every time you use the token, it gives the company some money that we will redistribute uh, some of it, uh, at least uh, 30%, uh, to, to help us to change things with our foundation, actually. Okay, and where does the other 70% go to? Well, to, to everything we need to pay. Uh, marketing, communication, salaries, operations, building uh, factories to, to get some water where, where it is. Um, plants, water plants? Exactly. Okay. All right, and can you guys recall the moment when someone mentioned blockchain to you? You said that you realized when blockchain was a solution. What was, what was happening at that time in your life? Well, um, actually, it's a, it's an associate, my first associate. One day he said, do you, do you know about tokens? And I said, yeah, yeah, I know about tokens. He said, I think there is something to do in the water, in the water industry uh, because blockchain is really a new digital way of changing things. Once again, because uh, you create a community that follows all your ideas. You know, they, they agree with your project and then we're all together to, to build the project together. So that's, uh, that's I, I thought, but of course, finally I can, I can realize my dream, you know? Uh, because uh, thanks to the blockchain, I can actually, yeah, uh, realize my dream. Achieving your dreams via blockchain, love it. And Ahad, what about you? Can you recall the moment when you first heard about blockchain or, or Bitcoin, like what was happening in your life at the time? Wow, okay. Um, I didn't really understand it at all, to be honest with you. In fact, I remember when it was first presented to me by a, a, a neighbor of mine who's a close friend, and he said, look, you need to invest in cryptocurrencies. I, I don't know anything about it. When was this, what year? Um, it was, I think about 2017. That's when I got in, actually. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I remember s sat down at the kitchen table having this conversation and feeling like I still don't really understand how it all works because I'm not into stocks and shares in any case, but it kind of sounded similar to that, but in a digital sort of sense. So yeah, about 2017 is when I really sort of was introduced to you know cryptocurrency. As for blockchain, you know, I, um, I'm not sure exactly when it was sort of introduced to me, but uh, as, as I understand it, it is a fantastic way to decentralize uh, the power, let's just say, from the status quo. And more importantly, give people the ability to have a say and that transparency. That's really important. So I really like those elements. For me, it speaks to me personally, you see. Yeah. Love that. All right, guys, now one last question. Since we are at the WOW Summit, I've been asking people to think of a standout memory, a standout moment in your lives, whether career, professional lives, or your personal lives, that you would put on chain as an NFT. So basically a memory that you would tokenize. What would it be? Think about it for a second. Jean, what do you think? Whoa, uh, that's a hard question, <laughs> actually. Uh, well, I, I've done it with the water, and uh, because it's my one of my first actually uh, souvenir. When my great grandmother, I was six years old when she told me, "Remember th this all your life. Uh, here, there is a lot of water," uh, and I did. So, I mean. That was my biggest dream, actually. I, I, I can't have a second one. <laughs> so we need to put like one NFT. We need to make an, uh, like a, maybe a, a painting or an image of that memory of yours. Exactly. All right, what about you, Ahad? I would have to say, honestly, it's about, it's about this project. I'm not joking. I, I've, told, I've told so many people now, the way that Lake speaks to me internally. I mean, I know you missed out on the presentation today but you would have seen my passion for lake 
I'm feeling it now. No, honestly, I'm not joking. So many times I've told John and John here, look, this is something different. This is, there's so much to it. And it's such a noble quest and such an honor and a privilege for me to be able to speak to the world about what we do, what we've started and where it's gonna go. You know, for me, it's a movement. It really is. And I can't really, but honestly, I can't wait to see what's gonna happen in the future. You know? Well, I love that, the Lake Movement. What's the best way for someone to learn more about this company? Uh, well, to go on our website, uh, it's very complete. You have everything, even the white paper. So uh, the best is to go to lake3.io, L-A-K.io. Oh, no, L-A-K-3.io, sorry. <laughs> so we pronounce actually, and just to, to make things clear, we do, we say lake, uh, but uh, we, you can also say lake 3, uh, so like web 3, lake 3, same thing. Check out lake 3, dot, let go. Check out L-A-K-3.io, everyone. Thank you for the interview today and enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you very much.